welcome and thank you for joining us on this Veterans Day to celebrate the men and women that have served our nation and defended our freedom. At this time, I would like to ask our Army ROTC to please come forward and present our colors. appreciate the opportunity to speak briefly about Veterans Day and Armistice Day in earlier years. The early history of the school, the first class commenced in uh, March of 1948. And that class contained 31 students, many of which were veterans of World War II. Since that time, we have had faculty, students, graduates who've served active and reserve in the U.S. military. I want to say a little about the, uh, the history of, of Veterans Day. As I look at this audience, I doubt that probably any of you can remember that originally in the United States, it was called Armistice Day. It was changed in uh, 1954, and the reason it was changed to Veterans Day is because originally Armistice Day recognized the service of people who participated in World War I. And the reason it was on November the 11th was because the, the signing of the armistice in France it, that ended the combat operations of World War I was on November the 11th, and actually it became effective at 11 a.m. One of the interesting things in, in uh, the United Kingdom and what was the, 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 the Commonwealth of the United Kingdom uh, back in the days of World War I, uh, it was called Remembrance Day, and it was first celebrated by King George V on November the 11th in 1919. And since that time, it has been called Remembrance Day, uh, sometimes Armistice Day, in most of the Commonwealth countries. I was in uh, the United Kingdom in 1998, and I happened to be leaving London on November the 11th. I was at Gatwick Airport, and a couple of minutes before 11, they made an announcement at 11 o'clock there would be a minute of silence and all operations, I think other than the airplanes landing and taking off, would cease. I was just ready to walk through the security thing that we walked through at that time, and sure enough, everything stopped, a minute of silence, as busy as an airport is. So I, I was very taken with that and, and that, that, that occurrence. Uh, Remembrance Day, 
uh, Armistice Day, or as we call it in the United States, Veterans Day, is a time that we honor those who have served our country and continue to serve our country. Thank you, Dr. White, for your comments and your service to our nation. You're very welcome. At this time, I would like to ask the Army ROTC to retire the colony. Well, 